notable. Channel 7's Justin Lewis went down on the farm to get muddy with the fourth edition of the mascot Tusk. The University of Arkansas has arguably the most unique mascot in all of sports. Sure, there's Bulldogs and Tigers, but only one university can say it has a Razorback, and that's Tusk. We make our way through the mountainous countryside of Dardanelle to find that unique mascot that so many Razorback fans feel connected to as a pet of their own. See ya. See ya. Come on. Just as a dog wags his tail in excitement when his master returns home, Tusk jumped up, eager for a rub on his snout. Saturday will mark Tusk for his second season as Arkansas's active mascot, and he's the first ever son of a former Razorback mascot to hold the title. Us in Georgia are the only two universities that have line mascots, and that's where the father sires the son the replacement, just like the, the English royalty, you know. Instead of afternoon tea for this head hog, he's just smitten in a puddle of mud. Keith Stokes enters his seventh season as the Razorback, well, I guess you can call him ringleader. Stokes and his family care for the 400-pound, frizzy-haired Russian boar. Tusk 4 here has been a more hands-on uh, mascot than Tusk 2 was because we've had him raise him here on the farm. So he was being touched the day he was born. So he, he, he thinks he's more like a person. So if you want to get on Tusk's good side, you got to feed him grapes. For nearly the past decade, it has been a huge transformation for the live mascot serving all Razorback fans, going from a wild hog to a breeding ground for years to come. And just like the facilities on the hill, Tusk has even gotten an upgrade. Well, over the past seven years, man, it's just, it just been an a amazing journey and a ride. And, of course, she was here five years ago, and you saw her facilities back then. Um, we've updated the facilities since then, and I tell folks, of course, in the SEC, mascots are key. 2010 brought an emotional year for the Stokes family and all Razorback fans when Tusk 4's father, Tusk 2, passed away suddenly. His brother, Tusk 3, served for the following year until Tusk 4 was ready. Not only did Tusk 2 leave a lasting legacy of years as the active Razorback, but he left Arkansas fans another hog to carry on the tradition, a lineage the Stokes family plans to continue as well. It's a tremendous trust for him to be in that trader to make sure he's treated in certain ways and everything. And so um, we enjoy it and everything. And um, along with the lineage of Tusk, uh, my son Chip and his wife Lori had just found out we're fixing to have a grandbaby come in November, so it's going to go on for years and years. The 2013 season brings a new era of Arkansas football to town with first-year head coach Brett Bielema, someone Tusk is already quite the fan of. Yeah, I've been talking to Tusk. Tusk knows that Coach Bielema was a hog farmer, raised on a hog farm. We've met him a couple times. Um, coach's first reaction was, they don't look like the hogs we raised. Tomorrow's game day, so we've got to get Tusk to Fayetteville. Reporting for Channel 7 Sports, I'm Justin Lewis.